Hello and thank you for tuning in to Millennium Movie. So the Hollywood Reporter is reporting that David Arquette is set to return to the world of screen to reprise his role as Dewey Riley. Yes, you heard me correctly. We are getting another screen movie. This was actually something that was uh, news last week that that Neve Campbell is in talks to return to reprise her role of Sidney Prescott, the the starring role of the Scream franchise. And what's known about this so far is that this is being called sort of a soft reboot, almost like a soft relaunch of the of the property, much like the upcoming uh, sequel to the Suicide Squad in the Suicide Squad that's being directed by um, James Gunn. And basically, what what that means is that. You know, they're going to sort of head in a new direction with this franchise, but at the same time, they're also going to, you know, show some love to the old stars and to the old characters. And and just pay attention to this uh, quote that I'm about to read you from David Arquette himself uh, on this news. He said, I, I'm, uh, quote, I am thrilled to be playing Dewey again and to return and reunite with my Scream family, old and new. So th that, that tells us that I, I think we can expect the return of Neve Campbell. I mean, she's the star of this franchise. You can't have Scream without her. She has to be there. And then I think the only person that you need left is, is Gail Weathers, right? That that's it. Those are those are like your big three of the Scream franchise. And you know, if you want to bring back uh, Hayden Panettiere's Kirby from from Scream Four, then I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I really am. She's she's a really good actress. That, I like that character. Uh, one of the very few things that I like about Scream Four, uh, because I, I mean, I love the original Scream. I, I love that movie to death. Uh, Scream Two, I really like. Uh, Screams Three and Four. I, you know, I can sort of take them or leave them. I, I don't really care or think about them all, all that much, if I'm being honest. But the fact that this is a uh, being um, kind of sold and marketed to us as a real, a soft relaunch of the project uh, gives me some hope that, that this will be better than the previous uh, installments in the franchise. Because uh, Matt Bettinelli, Open, and Tyler Gillett are now going to co-direct this movie. This is going to be the first screen movie that's not directed by the horror master Wes Craven. And... Um, the writing, uh, the writing is going to James Vanderbilt, uh, who's 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 done some movies like uh, uh, Zodiac and and Murder Mystery, which is the recent uh, Netflix movie with Adam Sandler, and uh, another guy named Guy Busick, who's also uh, co-wrote the recent uh, Ready or Not film, as well as some episodes of Castle Rock. So, you know, I, I think I trust the writing certainly, at least the, the writers that they've gotten to work on these movies. So I, I, I want to keep an open mind about this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too high because the last time I did that with Scream 4, I was pretty disappointed. But, uh, you know, the fact that this is, again, being treated as a soft relaunch of the franchise, but we're still getting the old characters and we're getting some new ones mixed in there as well. Uh, and, of course, the writers behind the screen, behind the, you know, behind the camera. I, I don't know so much about the directors, but... Um, like again, I said, I'm just trying to keep an open mind, and, and hopefully, hopefully, this is a good time of the theater. I mean, we need some horror movies right now. Uh, there's not enough this year. Well, there's not enough movies at all in general this year, but horror specifically. And so, uh, principal photography is expected to begin later this year in Carolina once all these, uh, you know, quarantine uh, rules and, and procedures are, are put into place, so that they can begin filming safely. So, yeah, we can probably expect this movie, hopefully, if there's no issues with it, we can expect the next Scream movie to be coming to us in the year, sometime in the year 2021, so sometime next year. But, uh, yeah, this has been uh, all the news we have for today. Uh, if you're curious to know more about this type of stuff, well, I have other videos just like this on my channel, and you can consider subscribing, because I would love to have you along for the ride. But, until next time, guys, this has been Millennium Movies, and I will see you all very soon.